Hey guys, it's me, Danny Tim, and today we're going to talk about the five reactions you're going to get in a K-pop concert. Reaction number one, the shocking truth. Okay, so I remember when I first was waiting for Teen Top to come out, you know, you know, we're waiting for 30 minutes, you know, they're a little bit late, but it's okay, because, you know, it's Teen Top. And then once the curtains descended, I was like, oh my gosh, this morning, I was just we're blocking a picture of you on Tumblr, and all of a sudden, you, you're, you're out of my, you're out of my screen. Reaction number two, the party. This is the part where you accept that your bias group is in the same room as you. They're singing their heart out, you're singing your heart out, you're, you're dancing, you're jumping. This is like the greatest exercise you've done in your entire life. You know every single goddamn song. You're trying to get a picture of your own bias group, hoping like you'll get like a really nice picture like that you get like in those Tumblr photos, but instead you like get a picture of their armpit. Work! 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 You're waving at them, hoping that they'll wave back at you. And then they wave back at you and you kind of die inside and you want to faint. Reaction number three, the touching moment. This is the part where your bias is going to be thanking all his fans you know they're all thinking you're their fans you know they're very happy to be here and you're gonna start like touching your heart your heart you're gonna be like yes yes reaction number four the confusion okay so this is like right before you leave the venue you're like the concert is over and you're just like standing there you're still you're not leaving yet and you're like what the heck just happened what's going on you're f you're literally frozen you can't focus and if you're not going to a high touch event right afterwards like i did chances are you're probably not even gonna look at their faces you're gonna be like oh my freaking gosh and they're high-fiving you and before this high touch you were like you know what? i'm gonna give them the best smile ever i'm gonna act so cool but instead while they're high-fiving you you're looking like this and reaction number five the tears. This is when, once you finally left the venue and you walk outside, the concert's over completely, and you realize everything's done. You're crying right now. You cannot believe everything like that just happened. You're 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 you're, you're clenching your heart. You're like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, I'm gonna cry. And then you you keep crying, and you and you take the train, and you, and and you're going home, and there's probably a hobo sitting right next to you, it's like, what is up with this girl? And you're just crying, like, dude, dude. I just had the greatest time of my life, oh my god. And then the hobo sits away from you. And then from then on, you have probably suffer from post-content depression for the next three to six months. So yeah, enjoy. So I hope this video was good enough for you for anyone who's going to a K-pop concert soon or whoever had a K-pop concert. Um, I hope this kind of relates to you. This is definitely related to me. And um, I've, I've, I saw Teen Top about like seven months ago. Or was it six months ago? Yeah, six, seven, I don't know, I'm bad at math. And um, it was in March, and um, I was watching some more of their videos, and I was like, oh, I'm missing them, and I have to make a video about it, so this is pretty much it. So um, I hope this was useful once again to you guys, and uh, this is it. I'm going to give a cry.